Well, the world's gone mad. We're all isolated inside. Coronavirus uh, is taking over the world, and uh, we're just living in coronavirus's world. Uh, the economy is spiraling towards depression. Governments are doing everything they can uh, to try to save their citizens and their businesses from economic ruin. Uh, a lot of this is taking place in the form of you know, bailouts and, and stimuluses. In the United States, they passed the CARES Act, which was a $2 trillion um, stimulus package aimed at helping American citizens and businesses. And a lot of this has, was accomplished through, through the tax code. I did a video a little while ago on um, you know, some of the highlights of the CARES Act for individuals. I'm going to do that for businesses now. Uh, for those of you who normally watch my videos, I normally don't do a lot of like reading from um, you know, papers or computer screens or anything, but there's a lot of information here, so I have a few notes written down. I'm going to scroll through them, um, kind of touch on the highlights. There's, there's a lot more in here, but I'm just going to be talking about you know, the things that I think are going to affect you know, most of our clients. Obviously, if you guys have any questions about the CARES Act, need, need help figuring out what you might qualify for, what how you can benefit from it. Um, we can certainly help you figure that out. Uh, all you have to do is check us out at EsquireGroup.com. Shoot us an email at info at EsquireGroup.com. Let's dive into coronavirus bailout. So the first thing is uh, there is an extended due date uh, and payment date for uh, tax returns and tax payments. As it applies to businesses, most corporations, uh, C corporations and foreign corporations are required to file by April 15th as well as pay their taxes by that date. Uh, that is extended until July 15th. So as long as you file a return and pay your tax by uh, July 15th, you won't have any late payment penalties, interest, any of that stuff. Uh, if you have an S corporation, that return was still due on March 15th. So file your return you delinquent person. Uh, one of the other things um, that's important to note with this extension for uh, any, but for so for any uh, for anybody that had to pay um, a deemed repatriation tax due to having uh, foreign uh, deferred income in a, in, a, in in foreign corporations, uh, those installment payments are also extended until July fifteenth. So. Uh, you have a little bit more time until you have to pay your taxes. That's always helpful. That said, if you do a refund, I would you know try to file as soon as possible, um, just because you know the IRS is going to be overwhelmed with implementing um, the CARES Act. Most IRS employees are working from home, so there's there's bound to be some some delays. There is a uh, refundable payroll tax credit that uh, businesses. Uh, impacted by coronavirus can qualify for. Uh, not every business qualifies for this, but I think most will. And basically, you can get 50% uh, a payroll tax credit of 50% of qualified wages paid to an employee. So uh, this is up to $10,000 of wages. So basically, like the credit's up to, to $5,000. Um, and it's used to offset your payroll taxes. And if the credits are more than what your payroll taxes are, they're refundable, meaning the IRS will give you that money. So that might be something you know for a lot of businesses to look into. Uh, the other thing is payroll taxes for 2020 uh, have been delayed. Um, so you don't have to pay your payroll taxes in 2020. You have to pay 50% by um, December 31st, 2021, the other 50% by uh, December 31st, 2022. A lot of rules that have come out that have to do with expanding uh, the carry back of net operating losses to five years. Uh, this is something that may be able uh, to help a lot of a, a lot of businesses by being able to carry, carry those back further. Um, the rules are quite complex, so I'm not going to really dive into them here, but just know that you know you're able to carry back NOLs arising in 2007. Uh, so I believe the end of, of uh, 2021, um, yeah, until the, in, uh, sorry, before, so you're able to carry back uh, NOLs uh, from tax years 2017 through 2020 uh, back five, five years. So that's something that hopefully could benefit a lot of people. Uh, the due date for um, Model 2 
foreign financial institutions. So these would be uh, financial institutions that are in non-IGA countries uh, that are required to file Form 8966. Uh, the due date of that has also been extended to July 31st. Um, the charitable deduction limitations have also been um, been modified to allow uh, greater uh, charitable contribution deductions for corporations. So normally uh, it's 10% of taxable income that corporations are allowed to donate to charity. That has been raised to 25%. So that's, a, that's something that uh, some corporations might find helpful. I think the other thing that everybody is wondering about uh, is obviously, uh, you know, these loan programs uh, that are available. So the, the biggest one that we've been asked about is the Payroll Protection Act, the PPA loans. Uh, so the way the PPA loans work is you can get a loan, uh, for, you can get an SBA loan uh, for two and a half times uh, your average monthly payroll during 2019. So let's just say, for example, your average monthly payroll was 50 grand. So two and a half times would be 125,000. So you could get a loan of 125,000. Now, assuming that you use uh, the loan proceeds to only pay payroll, uh, rent, utilities, or mortgage interest, you can actually get the, um, the loan waived so that you don't have to pay it back. So, so it's essentially forgiven. There are some criteria though, right? So you basically have to maintain um, your staffing, um, or if you've already laid people off, you have to hire them back. Uh, if you don't, then there's a calculation that basically reduces um, the, the amount of the loan that will be forgiven. And one of the nice things about the loan forgiveness is usually when a loan's forgiven, forgiven uh, the, 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 the company would have to treat that as income, but in this uh, situation, that would not be the case. So basically, if you get this loan, you qualify for full forgiveness, um, that forgiveness would take place eight weeks after you got the loan and there would, it would not be counted as taxable income. Anyway, I hope you guys found this uh, useful. We're also putting out some blog posts and stuff on uh, some of the highlighted items a little bit more in depth in this video, but you know, I didn't want to make a two hour video on tax stuff. Uh, everybody would have fallen asleep. Uh, but again, if you need help figuring out any of this stuff, Esquire Group's on top of it. Uh, shoot us an email at info at esquiregroup.com or check us out online at esquiregroup.com.